You will fully recover from yesterday's events. You should go over to the Tea World with everyone after school. After school. After school. Oh, we're, we're just going right in there. Okay. I'll give it a try, but if Risei Chan couldn't find him, I really doubt someone with a dried up nose like me will be much help. All right, well, we'll just kick you off the side hmm. then. Hmm. I do smell a dachi baby in here. The fog is completely covering up his scent. Teddy, you can't do it either. A dachi baby. When you look at me Ew. with those eyes, I get this feeling. Ew. I, got I got a gotta feeling. Stick <laughs> no matter what. Ew. This is my time to shine. You're gonna shit yourself. Ooh. I'm Out your something. nose! Ew. He's going Super Saiyan again. He's gonna crowd surf. Teddy? Hey, quit wandering around. You better not flake out on us again. Huh? I sense it from this away. Okay. Is it Itachi? Is it a, is it Itachi? <laughs> That'd be infinitely worse. How do I put it? It's kind of hazy, but at the same time, it feels like I've got a whopper on the line. You're not fishing. I don't get it. <laughs> Very suspicious. This definitely smells. Well, then, but wash that's yourself. Weird. If I remember right, that's where Sensei, Yosuke, and Chie chan came from when I met them for the first time. When we first. Where was that? Oh. You mean that creepy ass room where all the faces on the posters were cut out? Yep. Oh, yeah. There's someone there. Teddy, you really are amazing. Oh, Everybody gets one. Be beginner's luck. It was just dumb luck. Yeah. It's because that's where I first sensed Sensei and the others. Yeah. That's why it kind of smelled over there. Well, I'm sorry. I was alone. I had to do my de duty and. Oh, I see. Know. Wait, did you say it smelled? Wasn't that the room where Yosuke had to go to the bathroom and... Huh? You're saying... <laughs> he beat his pants there? Ew, I don't want to hear it. Oh, you lie so bad. Dude, I did not piss my pants. You basically did. She had quit spreading random rumors about stuff like that. Uh, well, it happened so long ago, uh -huh. my memory's kind of fuzzy, you know? Your memory's always fuzzy. And filled with steak. Yep. Okay, guys, enough fuzziness. Follow me, the master of fuzzy logic. Yo. Hee hee. God damn it. <laughs> I haven't heard you crack up in a while, Yukiko. She Good. She, like, she snurked back at... It's only been a few days. Yeah. I really wonder sometimes about your sense of humor. Yeah, dumb bitch. No, rude. A cheerful mood has returned to the group, thanks to Teddy. No, it's not. And you've taken another step towards the truth. Chunk. Seven. Ah! noticed her first and she just had to run off and have an affair who's there damn your face changed it looks like your mouth was just pasted on there oh it's you guys Ew. you're very persistent hello give it up i don't know what you're talking about that's a good look of a guy who just jizzed his pants just being here proves it Answer us! You're the one who threw Ms. Yamano into the TV, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> it was an accident. She started struggling. What else was I supposed to do? I called her out to the lobby because I wanted to ask her something. And then she started getting hysterical on me. <laughs> who are you? And what's this something important you called me out here for? 
What they say on the news isn't true, is it? All that talk about you having an affair and whatnot, it's all a lie, right? Why do I have to explain myself to you? Yeah. I see. So you don't deny it. You caught my eye. But it turns out you're another worthless bitch. Damn. What's wrong with you? Don't make me call for help. <sighs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I think you need to see what it's like to fear for your life. It'll get your head straight. You fucking weirdo. <laughs> what are you going to do? No. Ah! She fell in. <laughs> wow. So people can go completely inside. Oh, fucking face. Good thing for me no one else was around there in the middle of the night. That happened in our lobby? I learned about the Midnight Channel through some rumor. You hear a lot of fishy stories like that on the force. But it was pure coincidence that I touched the screen and discovered my power. Your power. I was power. still laughing when I found out. I knew right away that this was going to be interesting. So you tested it out on Mayumi Yamano? Nah, it was nothing like that. I'm a very sincere fellow. Oh, yeah? I was just trying to punish the stupid bitch a little for betraying me. Yeah, putting them inside the TV was never the plan. But you know, both Mayumi and that dippy high school girl struggled for no reason. No reason? You were responsible for Saki Senpai's death. Saki? Oh, yeah. Her name was Saki Kunishi, or something like that. At first, I just called her in because of work-related stuff. Her being the one who found Mayumi's body and all. And naturally, if there was any chance she'd seen something, I'd need to know, right? Well, where... Huh. So how, how did how did Mayumi get back into the real world as a body if she was pushed into the TV? So I was all set to be a nice guy to her. Oh, you... And that bitch... this about anyways didn't you call me in for more questions well we'll get to that but you know I saw you this afternoon you were getting pretty cozy with that namatame <laughs> slap huh so I'm not good enough for you cuz you're a fucking creep well, I know how to deal with girls like you school girls today this world's gone straight to shit when I was in school I wasn't allowed to do anything but study my ass off yeah I was supposed to be the best of the best and instead they stick me in the boonies but I guess I got the sweet power to make up for it <laughs> life's not so bad after all get on your knees and beg and maybe I'll let you out damn <laughs> yeah, like that'll happen. As if I'd walk into a death trap like that. It was a lot easier the second time. High school girls are thinner, you know? Lighter. And you also had a smaller TV to work with. Yeah. You son of a bitch! Come on, give me a break. I didn't know it was dangerous inside the TV. It's not like I was trying to kill them. I mean, I'm sure they hit on Namatame, not the other way around. The council secretary will one day rise to public office himself. Mayumi and that high schooler were just gold digging. They got exactly what they deserved. I didn't do anything wrong at all. So very few people deserve to die. Hmm. Shut the hell up! You knew from what happened to Mayumi Yamano that people die in here! <sighs> so what if I knew? So, did you trick him? Nah, he called the police in the middle of the night, just after they found that Saki girl's body. The rest of the force had their hands full with the double homicide, and it happened that I was the one who took the call. Namatame said the police refused to take him seriously. You were responsible for that then. Oh, quite the contrary. If anyone else had taken the call, sure. But I actually did believe him, you know?
that's the pattern to the two deaths so far. And now you're seeing a girl in a kimono on that weird program, and you think she'll die too, is that right? Amatame-san, do you seriously expect us to believe something like that? But, but it's true! If there's any way the police can protect her... Listen, there's no way the police are going to make a move based on a fantasy story like that. <laughs> it does sound interesting, though. B but you snirk! Oh, I have an idea. If you really want to save her that much, why not do it yourself? You did plant that thought in his head. Like, you could shelter her somewhere, some place where no one could find her. Where no one could find her? Save her yourself. You can do it. I'm busy, so I'm hanging up now. Bye. <laughs> I'm busy, so I'm hanging up now. It's, it was his fault all along. Isn't that amazing? Of all the people who could have received Namatami's call, it ended up being me. Talk about luck. All I did was give him a little push. And he completely bought into his vision of this world. The more people you guys saved, the more he'd kidnap. Both sides had the best of intentions, so the game of cat and mouse would never end. <laughs> it was awesome. You gotta be shit. He was manipulating you because he was bored. Yep. Why? What reasons could you have for doing that? I'm Sonic Heroes. <laughs> reasons? None, really. I could do it, that's all. And it was fun. I guess that's my reason? You murdered people just for the fun of it? I mean, psychos usually are oh, come on. broken. All I did was put people in here. I didn't murder them. And Namatame did most of it. I had nothing to do with any of you. You're just dodging the blame. Yeah? Then how would you prove it? He put people inside TVs? <laughs> you think the police are that stupid? Yeah, what a jerkwad. Yeah. I do admit, though, I never thought you guys would manage to track me down. Yosuke, pee on him. Like <laughs> it. Games like this gotta have surprises or they get boring fast. It's like when I dealt with that Kubo kid. That was fun, too. <laughs> then, you mean to say that Mitsuo Kubo's disappearance was your doing as well? I did sense something odd in his course of action. If he had special powers and wanted attention, why resort to a regular copycat crime? But that wasn't the case. Kubo had no such powers. In fact, he was thrown in by you. Am I correct? It had been a while since I last put someone inside the TV, so I really got a kick out of that one. Why did you do that? You're Sonic Heroes. But Mitsuo didn't say anything about you. <laughs> you think that didn't occur to me before I did it? Come on, I'm a detective. A poor one. I led him through to a room at the station with the TV, switched off the lights, and did it quick while he was still startled. As long as he didn't see me push him in and no one else did either, no one would believe him, even if he survived. Of course... I don't think the Kubo kid ever figured out what happened. <laughs> Wait, the police station? Yeah. He turned himself in pretty quick, actually. This was back when we didn't even know enough to issue a search warrant. But the other officers decided it was just a prank. So they pawned him off on me. I didn't hmm. blame them. I mean, a kid coming and saying, I did it all, it was me. Who'd believe him? But it looked bad. I didn't think anyone would come forward and take the blame for all the incidents. The police were desperate to pin it on anyone. If this kid really did it, they might have announced the case was closed. And if that happened, Namatame would stop saving people. I couldn't let that happen, or the game would be over. That's why I told the others I sent him home. I came up with the idea to put him inside the TV on the spot. The huh. game would be over? You threw him in just so your fun wouldn't end? You gotta have some excitement in life, don't you agree? But then you guys put your foot in it yet again and ruined my fun. Thanks to you, Kubo was arrested again, and everyone acted like he was the true culprit behind it all. <sighs> Couldn't they see how badly he copied the crime scene? It worked out in the end, though, because good old Namatame kept saving people. I guess the guy started to develop some kind of messiah complex, huh? <laughs> what an idiot. Mm. This is all a game to you. How dare you murder people? Murder Saki-senpai for such a stupid reason! You bastard! I'll never forgive you! 
You can keep your forgiveness. Our world will probably become just like this place soon enough anyways. Didn't you notice? The fog's leaking out. Everything on that side's pretty much screwed. The two worlds will merge soon, and then there'll be no difference. No sides anymore. What the hell's he talking about? This isn't his real body. The real Adachi is somewhere else. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But this guy feels different from an ordinary shadow. It doesn't seem like he's going berserk. <laughs> wow, you can tell that much? This me is just around to greet you guys, and thank you for wasting your time by chasing me in here. I'd say this world has taken a real shine to me. I feel like it's giving me everything I've ever wanted. And the monsters don't attack me at all. Maybe they can tell we have the same goal. The Shadow's goal? By the end of the year, Inaba will disappear completely into the fog. Soon, this place will be reality. I'll be in this world, so if you want me, come and get me. This world has a mind of its own. We'll see which of us it favors. Keep your bullshit to yourself. <laughs> you almost punched Risei there. It's about time you shut the hell up. We'll finish this right now. Bro. What a chump. Didn't I just tell you the real me is somewhere else? I'll be expecting you all. We'll put an end to this. Get back here, you! <laughs> That stuff about the world's mind and how this place will become our reality. Is he serious? Hmm. The rest of his confessions were consistent. We'd best proceed under the assumption that it's no lie. It felt like he's gained some strong power after coming here. Hmm. Not only that, maybe he got taken over by that power. So what he said about the two worlds becoming one. That's really gonna happen? I mean, it looks like it. Didn't he say that it would happen by the end of this year? What happens then? I think he means this world will engulf the human world. Or at least Inaba. The people yep. in town are acting weird. It's like when the shadows that emerged from people went berserk. If the fog gets even thicker, and this town is completely shut off from the outside world, then the other side might become full of shadows. Like over here. Mm. You mean everyone's gonna turn into shadows? Damn it! Damn that bastard! Stop yelling! <laughs> we went through so much to get here, and now it turns out he was pulling our strings this whole time. Uh huh. Let's end this. We can still yeah. beat him. It's about time we finish this. I don't want to feel this way ever again. Well, oh, well, there's our window. There's a path we can take now. I sense Adachi's presence from that direction. He's taunting us. Mm. Bring it on! Bring it on! Right now! Bring it on! Damn you! Wait. I suggest we prepare ourselves first. We're prepared. Can't stab us in the back ever again. We must face him with all the power at our disposal and defeat him without fail. I'm a little worried what he means by the end of the year, but now's not the time to I mean, we got like three weeks to figure that out. Let's get prepared. Let's get over prepared and leave footprints all over his stupid smug face. Okay. By pulling all your strength, the path of the truth has been opened. More truth. Kachunk. Truth eight. Secrets of truth. Judgment. Senpai. Please don't go on alone. Uh, I understand you know. that it must hurt, since you seem to have a personal relationship with him. No, I never liked the guy. Maybe that's why. I feel a presence kind of like yours up ahead. He might be calling to you. Or it might just be his persona, because Wait, it's similar mind. to mine. Again, I said that. We're all going together, okay? Promise us. Okay. I need you guys anyway. I can't fight him by myself, though I... The Good. unexpected true culprit has finally been confirmed. Before the end of the year, this town will be swallowed by the fog. You must finish things before then. You resolve to be fully prepared before facing Adachi. Ugh. I have pretty much any, everything and anything you're, yeah, I would you're, need. You're good. I have 
A good deal of items. I'm 98. I'm going to be 99 before I fight him because I'm going to be fighting shadows in there. Yep. So, yeah, I'm kind of just good. Hold on. Don't sleep yet. Oh, save the game real quick. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is fun. Okay. Quiet night. It's a quiet night. You remember what your friend said. He might be calling to you. We're all going together, okay? Promise us. Am I gonna go in alone? You have to. <sighs> what should I do? I I don't No! Wanna... Okay. Time yeah. to just... If you leave now, you might be able to make it in time before Juness closes. You decide to go to Odachi's alone. I, I could probably stick my head in that TV, maybe, probably. Juness, electronics department. <sighs> no one here. There's nobody around. No sign of anyone around. Is Adachi here? Kashunk. The entrance disappeared. Oh no. This is a problem. Oh, Why hello. Why didn't you bring the rest of them? You're such a party pooper. You couldn't even bring your wannabe detective friend? I need to talk to you. To what? Change my mind? Don't kid yourself. What? Your whole gang should be here. You know, work together, beat the bad guy, friendship, effort, victory. You guys love that stuff. Yeah. Uh, will you reconsider? Huh? Why would I? Didn't you hear what I just said? Or maybe you heard, but you didn't understand. Well, I don't have anything to say to you. You! If crimes could be solved by appealing to morality, we wouldn't need the police. The person you believed in was a version of me who only existed in your head. You decided on your own to believe in me, and that decision betrayed you. Why complain about it to me? Because it's your fault! To the bottom one. <laughs> yeah. You say the dumbest shit. <laughs> it's people like you who come to me alone, naively thinking you can turn me around, that piss me off the most. What do you think will happen if I shoot you? Uh, just, I don't know. I'll probably die. You, you can't shoot me. And then he shoots me. <laughs> You'd commit one more crime. You're right. That's all it would be. He shot at me, but he hit the window. The bullet brushed your ear. You smell the acrid? The acrid scent of burning gun smoke. Do you get it now? We're done talking. I won't miss next time. Didn't seem like a threat. You don't think you can talk to Adachi anymore. You feel your relationship with the Dachi has trained has changed dramatically. Gee, you think? <laughs> Kachunk. Wasn't his it Oh, it just straight up breaks. Into a different one? I uh, thou Thou has seen how bonds may change. The bond ha that hath changed, blah, blah, blah. First I've learned the truth. The inner power of the jester becoming hunger. And so the things have changed from the jester to hunger. Hunger. Want me to like the you wolf. Choose. You can go back to your friends and bring them all here.
or you can die now. I guess regular revenge is boring, though. Let regular see revenge. see your detective work takes you. It's always good for a laugh. You're so persistent. Look at all that youthful vigor you've got. Yeah, and like, unlike you, you old, you old bent. Yeah. What are you, like 28? You old I, fart. I feel like a new strapping young lad, beating his mate furiously for the first time. Well, bye-bye. I look like I have moth wings or tacos. Yeah. <laughs> the entrance is closed. It seems Adachi is blocking you. Cock blocking. That Adachi wasn't the real him either. Unless you come back here with your friends, you won't be able to reach Adachi. You must go back for now. Damn. Well. Welcome back. Oh, hi, Osuke. I told you not to go alone. Though I knew you would anyway. I would just walk away from him without saying a word. <laughs> why so why didn't you go in to stop me? It's okay. I understand. I'll keep it a secret from the others, and I won't ask about Adachi for now. But come on, you should trust us more. It ain't about trust, kid. I do trust you. It's just I'm stronger than you all. Anyway, <laughs> I'm glad you're safe. Yeah. <clears throat> Attention, customers. It is now closing time. Please visit us again tomorrow. You couldn't get through to Adachi. The day that the town will be swallowed by the fog should be near the end of the, end of the, end of the, the, end of the year. You must reach a decision by then. You must prepare yourself as completely as possible. By getting one extra level. <laughs> now see, if you had not, well, if you had sided with him, obviously I knew you weren't going to. Right. Um, the game would end with the jester remaining jester. So. Mm. Is this fog getting thicker and thicker? Is it just me? Are you getting thicker, girl? Um, mm. Does this mean the world's coming to an end? I actually heard somebody say that. What do you think's gonna happen? Earthquake? Tsunami? Worse. Huh? Nothing's gonna happen. It's just fog, you doofus. Besides, it's all now the defense force or some way is sure, sure to come save us. EDF! EDF! God damn it. Save our brother Earth for any alien attack. For vicious giant insects who have once again come back. <laughs> God damn it. Ooh, this is some giant monster attacks either, or aliens. So I'm moving about something like this. So since you've seen the cutscene with, you know, Adachi and stuff, uh -huh. so there's this meme. Uh, Cold Bros. <laughs> you couldn't just quit while you were ahead, could you, big bro? Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> they gave her Adachi's face. Female student. Yeah, I mean, look at it. Oh. It's terrible. Anyway, your test results. Oh, yeah, the test results. Awful moment of truth. Yep, see you next year in the same class. Oh, well, want to check it out? Sure. You decided to check the test results. I'll see how I crushed everyone in the school. Yeah, including the principal, the old fart. Yeah. <laughs> You're a genius, Viper. Totally. That's awesome. I'm just as happy if I got the highest grade myself. Sure you are. Friends.